If the makeup gods are listening up there, please don't let this look like trash. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do my very first Halloween tutorial. In reality, I've probably never really done Halloween makeup before. I mean, I've dressed up before, but never actually like done a full face of Halloween makeup. So I'm extremely excited. I'm feeling super inspired, super creative lately. I've been on Pinterest. So we're going to try and recreate the it clown look. Pray for me. A little liquid courage never hurt anybody. Okay guys, to start out I'm just using this Urban Decay B6 um, spray. This is like a, a prep and prime spray. So I want to put this on and just let it sit for a little bit while I'm doing my eyes. Um, so I'm going to prime my eyes as usual, and then I'm going to use the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just going to work this brown color into my crease, just doing windshield wiper motions back and forth with a fluffy crease brush. Then I'm going to use the black color and I am just going to put this on my lid in layers just to get the opaqueness that I want. But then like I'm also really careful with black because if you go too hard, too fast, <laughs> you can't take it back um, and it's hard to fix. So I'm just going slow and working it up um, and then I'm going to take that brush I had before and just blend the black out into my crease very lightly. So I'm just going to do the same thing again on the other eye, just kind of um, build up the black as I go and then I will start to work it into my crease and then blend it out with a fluffy brush. So I am going to use a black liquid liner um, with like a slight wing, but not too much of a wing. It's kind of hard to tell with a black shadow, um, but like this would be great if you wanted to add lashes. I was still thinking about adding lashes at the time of doing it. I didn't end up doing lashes because my glue was really bad. My lashes were too old, but I think this is a great look to add like some super fierce, super drama lashes. I just didn't have any. Um, I thought I could use the ones that I had. And as most of you know, if you watch my videos, I always go over my um, liner with black shadow. And then I'm just going to do my usual. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to throw on a coat of um, Lash Paradise Mascara. So, so far the look is pretty simple. Eyes are pretty simple, just black. Um, I went ahead and sprayed that B6 spray one more time as my primer. And then I'm gonna use this L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation because it is the lightest shade. Um, it's the only foundation I have that's too light on me. It's like probably about two shades too light for me. Um, this is when I was like super duper white in the winter one time. And I also like to mix this sometimes if my foundation is too dark. This is a night, 
a nice mixer to lighten it up. So, you know, it is a clown look. Um, I didn't want to go full on white like he is in the movies. Um, I thought it'd be good just to use a foundation that was like a shade or two too light. And I think it still looks really good. Okay, so I just filled in my brows and put some concealer on my under eye, and then I just wanna set my whole face. This is the lightest powder that I have. It's in this Smashbox Holidays palette. Um, I typically go for like translucent powders, so this is the only one that actually had like a light shade to it. So this sets the um, white foundation that we put on. So next I'm just going in with this NYX Lip Pencil. You can choose any red that you want. Um, I had this red in my um, lipstick box, so this is what I went for. I'm just going to go ahead and overline my lips. You can overline as much or as little as you want. You can go super modest if you want or follow the natural line of your lips. It's totally your choice. In the movie, he's clearly very overlined and very... Um, dramatic almost unnatural looking so I kind of wanted to go um, for that look but not too crazy so you can see I just kind of overlined very very slightly and then just for staying power I always fill in my lips with the lip liner and then I will go over it with lipstick My dog is chugging water right now. <laughs> so I'm going to take this Ice and Jam lipstick in Mother Pucker. And I'm going to put this all over my lips on top of the lip liner that I filled it in with. This gives you great staying power throughout the night if you're eating and drinking and all that jazz. Beautiful color. Super soft too. And then I'm going to take this black eyeliner. This is just an eyeliner pencil. I believe it's like Ciate, but you could take any pencil that you have. And I'm going to start tracing the lines. So you start on the side of your mouth. And then I just go out like, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half, and then start drawing up. And then I kind of curve the line a little bit. This is so hard to explain. I hope that just what I'm doing... Um, helps you draw your line the thing about this look is that it does not need to be perfect um as I was drawing the lines I was so scared and I was like oh my god it has to be perfect it doesn't and you'll see that I start like blending it out making it super unperfect um especially as a clown I a scary clown like I don't think you want perfect lines and the makeup to look perfect I think it looks even better um, and spooky when it's kind of unfinished or, you know, has flaws. So you'll see I'll just kind of start like, you know, making mistakes and it doesn't really matter what it looks like. I'm just kind of carving out where I want everything to be. And then I'm going to go over it with the red lip liner that I used from NYX. And then I'm going to go over it with the lipstick. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just blend it all out. So it's truly just layering. So it's kind of hard to mess it up, truly. You can kind of almost like make this your own. It does not need to be perfect. And the reason I started with the black was just to lightly carve out the line. But then when I started putting the red over it, I kind of liked that it was deepening the red that I had. Um, it gave it a little bit more dimension, which I really liked. So you can skip the black. You can just do all red or a different shade of red. Again, kind of make it your own. But I really liked the layers of this. Um, 
So as you can see, I have already gone over with the red lip pencil and now I'm just going over it with the lipstick and you'll see that I start getting like really imperfect with it. I'm kind of um, smudging the line almost like you would an eyeliner. Okay, going back with the black liner, I'm going to give my lips a little bit more dimension and darken up that red a little bit. And I'm just going to carve the outside like corners of my lips. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take that brush that I've been using the whole time um, that I used on the lines. And I'm just going to um, kind of do an ombre on my lips so that the black kind of seamlessly blends into the red. Okay guys, I was truly tempted to just leave it like that, but <laughs> you kind of have to do the nose if you're really going to truly go full on it. Um, I feel like the tip of my nose is a little large, so I feel like maybe I went a little overboard. I don't know, but maybe I would have done a little less nose, but kind of work you know, your own kind of thing as you go. Um, I should have probably started with a lighter hand and, you know, started small and working out like I did with my lines, but whatever, it still looks okay. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm just layering. I did the red lip liner and then the black liner, and then I'm just blending it out um, and smudging it out with lipstick. All right, guys, we are almost done. I'm going back into the palette with this darker brown, and I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line, and it'll kind of go into the black and the red triangle that we have under the eyes as well, just to darken it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to add mascara to my bottom lashes.
All right, lastly, going back into this Mashbox Holidays, and they actually have this really cool highlight in there. It's super white, and it has this kind of chromey um, hue to it. When you put it on, It you couldn't really tell um, in this lighting, but it looked really cool. So I just popped that on my cheekbones and in between my eyes, and then like just above on my... Um, forehead like close to my hairline and I thought it was like a nice finishing touch. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I had so much fun making this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and I will have another Halloween tutorial for you soon. Thanks guys.